Okay, so let's build a pilot watch, a big pilot watch, a real big watch for pilots. This is an equipment that I will to use and this is the watch case that I will to use. As you see, it's huge. It has 45 millimeter diameter, almost 15 millimeter thickness, lock to lock 22. And that's the movement I will use a Seagull ST36, which you can buy on Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, and the price is exactly for hobbyist. That's the dial. It's called Flieger Dial Type B. Of course, a set of hands, and we cannot forget about a right, a real thick leather strap, and that's the strap, brown with white stitches. And this gives us some idea how it could look like this big pilot watch. Okay, so let's begin. First of all, hello, my name is Sebastian and thanks for watching Ticking Watch. If you are my subscriber, thank you for coming back. But if you are not, check my channel, check Ticking Watch. And if you like this type of content, click the subscribe button and I will notify you anytime when I upload new content. First thing that I'm doing here is preparing the movement to be cased. What I have done was oiling a little bit the canyon pinion and now the hour wheel is on place. When you will be installing the day, watch out here on this small pinion from the second hand because it is very easy to damage it. And using a blower I will remove all the dust. Now I'm installing the dial, but it doesn't really fit here and that's the reason this dial fit is a little bit bent, so I will have to fix it, but also be careful here because you can break off them very easily, so watch out here and be very delicate and patient by doing this job. Okay, let's try this now. Yeah, just fits perfect now. All the parts that you see here I bought on uh, some on eBay, some on AliExpress. Actually, it depends from you where you want to buy them. I will leave some links in the description down below. That's are of course affiliate links. It's only just as a starting point and you can look for your own parts from which would you like to build your own watch it don't have to be a pilot watch okay the fits are tightened connected with the movement from these screws on the back and now I can install the watch hands and the first one will be the hour hand. I will use a foil. I'm using here a foil to avoid any scratches, but that's not really necessary. And hands, because they not always fit perfectly. You have to be patient here and use a little bit force. Okay, I see the hand here is a little bit bent because I was pressing very strongly. But yeah, we can fix this. And a little bit cleaning on the end. That's important because we don't want to have any dust under the, the watch crystal over the day. Quick checking. And now I'm adjusting our hand exactly to the 12 o'clock and now I can install the minute hand. With this one is most cases a little bit easier. But also you have to be careful here. Using a 4 is, is I think a good idea. Yeah. And now I have to check the alignment of the hands if they are parallel to themselves and to the tail. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think they are. Now quick check if the our hand is on the right place when the minute hand shows 12 o'clock I think it is okay so far so good now the second hand and here is a little bit tricky because in most cases I spoke about it in my previous video when I was building a custom dress watch that this tube is always a little bit uh, too small and using a needle like this I will just make it a little bit bigger and this is how I'm doing this not very sophisticated method I'm not inventing here any anything new Okay, let's try this. In most cases it is that you have to try this two or three times. It doesn't really work from the first time. But here I think it is. Let's check it. Also be delicate here not to damage this pinion from the second wheel. Okay, I think now it's okay. Let's press it and in a moment I will check if the hour hand is hacking in some way the second hand. But the hour hand is quite high, so it shouldn't. Yeah, there is enough space over the second hand, so let's make cleaning. And in a moment I will casing the movement and we will have the first look. Let's move the movement to the side and now the case. Let's prepare first the case. Because what I have to do is to clean it inside from any dust and I use for that a lens wipes. They are easy to get in some shop, supermarkets and similar. And they clean really, really well the inside of the watch. Then a little bit blowing. Okay. Let's take out the winding stem because this one is now not needed. Okay, I think I can put the movement into the case. Oh, well, it looks nice, very legible. Lately I'm fascinated with pilot watches and everything what is connected with pilot watches. So for me it looks great. Okay, this is the distance holder. A movement holder also, distance ring. A movement ring. <laughs> I don't know what is the proper name. If you know, write in the comment section down below. Now I have to replace the crown. That's the original that comes with the movement and this one is from the watch case. I'm not shortening here the winding stem because it's already have the right length. Now some oil here, maybe here a little bit too much. Okay, I think I can live with that. And the movement also. Okay, it fits like it should. Now I will have to tighten this screw that is holding the widening steam on place. Actually not the screw, but the setting lever. Okay, I think everything works like it should. Now I can screw back the case back 
which here is pretty big and solid. On the whole, all this watch case is very solid piece of steel. Now tightening. Whoa, that's the watch. Let's check the basic functions. So here we can only adjust the time, nothing more. In the moment I will also show you the loam of this watch, so stay tuned. And now the strap. Let's put the strap. It's very easy task. That's the strap, also very solid. Okay. The first one is in place. The second one. The spring bars are not very solid comparing to the watch case. But okay, and that's the accuracy of this watch. I think is very respectable. About plus five seconds a day. Now it's even plus one second a day and even zero. And that's the final product that we've made and I think everyone can make such watch for himself and this is the loom also very respectable in my opinion and if you like this video hit the like button share with someone that also likes watches mm, well really nice looking pilot watch but probably you need quite a big wrist for this one see my other videos and I hope to see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.